The movie begins with a man named Tiero, a divorced man living in Italy who does small jobs for a living. Later, one day, he got a job from a man named Filiberto, whose wig was stuck in the swimming pool. In an attempt to hide the truth about that wig from Filiberto's girlfriend, Tiero starts facing difficulties. And to complete his job, he has to fight with Filiberto's dog. Somehow, he completed his job with the wig. Later, like Tiero, his friend Massimo also has difficulties at work. And the reason for his troubles is his useless boyfriend, who behaves rudely with customers. Meanwhile, misfortune always seems to follow these three friends, and they try to be happy despite all of their difficulties. Tiero's ex-wife Ramona works in a circus, and even though they are separated, they try to keep their daughter Martina happy. Meanwhile, Ramona's boyfriend Pascal always ruins his attempts to make his daughter happy. And that's why Tiero doesn't like him. Later, Pedro, Massimo, and a woman named Yolando advise Tiero that he must dominate Petrol. Otherwise, he will snatch Martina from him, just like Ramona. However, the three of them have such strange advice. Tiero never takes him seriously. One day, Yolanda tells them that she sometimes calls her dead husband spirit, and after hearing that, they start calling for spirits. Meanwhile, Tiero says he wanted to call the most beautiful woman in the world Marlene Monroe, and Yolanda agreed to call her spirit. After advising the three friends not to break the hand's chain, they started saying magical words, and they began calling Marlin spirit. However, even after many attempts, they could not see Marlin in the house. Massimo and Petro got upset and left from there. After all of them left the house, and when Tiero was left alone at home, suddenly an unknown woman came before him. And that woman was no other than Marlin, and her spirit roamed around the house. Meanwhile, Marlin spoke in English, while Tiero heard her talk in Italian. He started thinking that the woman was a thief. He locked her in the room and told a policeman about a thief in his house. Meanwhile, he didn't know that he hadn't successfully locked her in the room because that woman was not human. She is a spirit and that's why she couldn't be locked anywhere after some time. When the police came to his house, he told them about Marlin, who was sitting in front of them. Meanwhile, Tiero was the only human who could hear and see Marlin. That's why the police thought that Tiero was drunk and he was saying absurd things. Later, in helplessness, Tiero had to go to the police station and write a statement in which it was stated that he was a crazy drunkard. While sending him home, the inspector told him that if he again harassed the police like that, then he would put him in prison. Marlin again came in front of Tiero, and he started thinking that that woman was his delusion. He did not believe in ghosts and spirits. However, Marlin had to prove to him that she was a spirit. She stood in the middle of the road, and a car went through her body. However, by doing that, she forces Tiero to think he has gone mad. Later, he did not even get any help in the mental hospital, and after that night, Marilyn started living with him. Marilyn kept telling Tiero that the doctors are telling him that he has a mental health condition. And when Marilyn leaves the world, the doctors will then say that they have cured Tiero's mental problem. However, Tiero did not want to pay attention to her words. He was thinking about spending time with Martina, one night, he finds out that she likes a boy named Patrick. Being a father, he was scared for once. However, he had no problem with their relationship. Marilyn was happy to see Tiero and his daughter's relationship. He understood that Tiero wanted to be a good father, and he still loved his ex-wife Ramona. Meanwhile, she had moved on and was utterly in love with Pascal. At the same time, he was worried that their helium tank had exploded and he didn't know that the tank that exploded had flown to Tiero's car. Because of this, along with Tiero's voice, his car was also damaged. Later at night, after seeing Ramona, Marilyn told Tiero that he had lost Ramona because he had stopped trying to make Ramona happy. After that, Tiero got worried about what Marlon told him, and he started taking therapy so that he could come out of his delusion. At that therapy group, he met many people whose stories were strange and absurd. At the same time, no one's story was stranger than Tiero's trouble. When he told everyone that he saw Marilyn Monroe, only one man believed in him. That man named Arnolfo started following Tiero, although he couldn't escape from Tiero's eyes for too long. And then he told him that he was not mad because there were 20 more people like Arnolfo and Tiero, 
who sees famous people like Marlin, and they are not their illusion. Instead, they are real spirits that they had called to come in front of them. That's why Marlin, whom Tiero could see, is the spirit of Marlin. Arnolfo said that if Tiero takes these circumstances seriously, he could completely transform his life. Arnolfo insisted on meeting Marlin, but Tiero had to give up and take him home. When Marlin sees his madness, she gets upset. Arnolfo kept trying to find Marilyn and talk to her, but he couldn't find her properly. When Arnolfo said he could take a picture of Marilyn, after hearing that Marilyn was happy as she loved pictures. However, the way he took the picture scared Tiero. Arnolfo planned to drive the car so fast that the traffic control speed camera would take a picture of them. Because that picture was taken so fast that even spirits could be captured in it. And that's how they will take Marilyn's pictures. Arnolfo did what he had planned, and to their bad luck, the police came before them. And Tiero had to go to the police station with Arnolfo. Tiero told the inspector that Arnolfo was mentally sick. At the same time, Arnolfo talked like a person with a mental health condition and said that Marilyn Monroe was in that car. And somehow, by calming the inspector, Tiero could save him from going to prison. Before going home, Arnolfo told him that he had to find the love of his life. Otherwise, he will live like a dead man. Meanwhile, Tiero took his advice and decided to trust magic and spirits for a while. He thought about going close to Marilyn. Simultaneously, he could not go close to a spirit. Marilyn wanted to know what Tiero did for a living. However, seeing his job, she started feeling strange. Tiero began to talk to Marilyn in front of everyone without fear and tell her what was on his mind. Marilyn understood that Tiero wanted to get his wife back, so she decided to help Tiero. She went to Pascal Circus and saw Pascal in front of her and she realized it would be easy to get him away from Ramona. At Marilyn's request, Tiero went to talk to Ramona, and he hardly told her the things that he never could say to Ramona. Meanwhile, Marilyn started telling him the romantic poetry of her time, which Tiero could not even understand. However, after repeating the same poetry, Pascal and Ramona started thinking Tiero might be crazy. Still, the change in Tiero's behavior melted Ramona's heart, and Pascal also started to get jealous of him. A few days later, Ramona agreed to spend time with Martina and Tiero, and the three of them could spend the day happily like a family. Tiero, who was roaming around in a miniature park, started telling Martina stories about himself and Ramona, and Martina felt that Tiero was more fun than Pascal. Ramona also felt so happy after years, and that's how Marilyn's plan was successful. Marilyn was also pleased that Tyero was learning to be happier than before. And because of Marilyn, Tyero started seeing the beauty and happiness of the world. On the other hand, Massimo was still worried about Petro's behavior because he drove every woman out of his shop. After taking a cake from Massimo, Tyero happily went out to meet Ramona and started hoping to tell her what was on his mind. However, instead of Ramona, Pascal came to see him that night whose suspicion was proven right, and he found out about the preparation that Tiero had made for Ramona. On the one hand, Pascal was saying bad things about Tiero. On the other, Marilyn was saying bad things about Ramona, who could not dare leave Pascal and return to Tiero. For hours, Pascal kept shouting at Tiero and ate all the food, and while eating, he found out that Tiero was going to propose. Before the situation could get worse for him, Ramona came there. Tiero was happy to see her, but Ramona told him she would marry Pascal soon. Tiero's heart broke again, and he was disappointed. He started going away from Marilyn. The man who was about to change became the sand new man he was before, and he asked Marilyn to prove her presence to him. She says she can't talk to people, nor can they see her. However, if she goes close to them and screams, they all start having a headache. After that, Tiero says that his life is empty as that area has become desolate. Meanwhile, Marilyn showed Tiero that place through miracles and told him that the area was never desolate. After death, no one leaves this world. Similarly, no one has left Tiero's life. That was the last thing Marilyn had to say. And after saying that, she left Tiero forever and went away. After that night, Tiero returned to his old life and job again while he still lived in the hope of Marilyn's return. Now, 
He needed therapy because of falling in love with Marilyn, who was not a human. He wants to call Marilyn, and that's why he wants Yolanda's help. Meanwhile, Yolanda had also gone out of the city for a few days. To distract himself, he started spending time with his friends. Moreover, he did not get any happiness. Petro was worried to know that Tiero Ramona and Pascal had agreed to go to Ramona and Pascal's wedding. Massimo also tried to stop him, while Tiero had promised Martina to be a part of that family. That's why he couldn't avoid that strange marriage. Tiero was also shocked when he saw Patrick during the wedding, with whom Martina wanted to marry, and he could not do anything about that either. Still, she couldn't understand how Ramona could fall in love with a man like Pascal. And at that time, Martina told him that he never dared to get Ramona back. At the same time, Pascal gathers courage every day and does dangerous things that everyone is afraid to do. After hearing that, Tiero realized that because of his fear, he had also started losing Martina. That's why he told Pascal simultaneously that he wanted to do a stunt with him. Not only that, he also said in front of everyone that he came there only because he wanted to get Ramona back. Martina understands that Tiero is doing all that to make her happy. Because of his attempt, Pascal hurt him badly. Later, after some days, Tiero goes to another area to see Arnolfo while searching for Marilyn. Because Arnolfo had succeeded in calling Marilyn to himself at that time. This time, Marilyn was only visible to Arnolfo, so it took work for Tiero to find her and tell her about his life. He succeeded in telling Marilyn that even if he did not get Ramona back, he had gathered the courage to get his daughter's love and respect. With that, the movie ends here. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe. See you next time. Take care. Time. Take care.